Uh, Scotty, we have a very uh, delicate story in nature that we're going to bring to you here at the Big One Two. Uh, local police are investigating a potential rape of a 16-year-old girl in a dorm that houses the Kansas men's basketball team. Now, Bill Self, the head coach, recently addressed the issue and admits that the issue is a major distraction. It's not a distraction. It's a major distraction. Certainly, most importantly, I think sometimes when in general, when you talk about distraction, you look at how it affects us. Well, Kansas is looking, obviously, to rebound from a loss against West Virginia. They've got a huge game coming up Saturday in a matchup of top four teams when they take on Kentucky. That's been all the talk this week. And then this story kind of comes out. But when the head coach addresses it, as he has done, and as you and I talked before the show, he's the one saying this is a major distraction. Of course, they are waiting to hear what the police and what the findings are. But if you're a kid... I don't know how you get ready for Kentucky, and maybe that's why they couldn't get ready for West Virginia. If this is lurking and something's going to come of it, we don't, just don't know what. There's a lot of different perspectives to go from. So let's start with Bill Self. I think Bill did the right thing. I think that history would tell you that coaches make the mistake when they try to sweep things under the rug. Mm. He is trying to treat this to where it is. There is speculation. We don't know all the information. The reports say it's a 16-year-old. Another thing we need to talk about is the difference between a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old is very different on two fronts. One, socially, I think that we start looking at it as closer to pedophilia than a high school relationship. And then also legally, now we're dealing with a major versus a minor. Mm. We do not know if it is exactly a player and exactly a 16-year-old. We know that it is happening at the alleged dormitory where a large number of the current players reside. Were they involved? Were they directly involved? Did they know of something? Right. They are involved to a certain degree. We just don't know if they're all in or not. And I think that the other thing is they need to play this game against Kentucky. The message is you continue to go on. Now, if there are players that are involved or the, the police think that it's best for them to be either punished, held back, leave them behind. The wins and losses for Kansas right now allow Bill Self to have wiggle room in terms of what seed do we want. Seeding's not really going to matter. If they're a one, two, three, or four, it's not going to matter. The next eight weeks, their mind and this issue legally, th this investigation needs to be figured out because this is far more important than a trivial aspect of 18 to 22 year olds bouncing a basketball on wood. So square that away because it will only do uh, help to the minds that are still developing. Mm -hmm. And golly, uh, let's not underestimate the most important thing. If there is a 16-year-old girl that has been harmed, that is the most important thing. Absolutely well And said. I think the last thing we need to address here is Lawrence, Kansas is a small place, but Kansas basketball is where James Naismith brought it all together. They are all whales in a goldfish's bowl. We do know this, that the players have been interviewed by police, so you can see why the head coach would say this is not a distraction. It's a major distraction that we are all now going through. We don't know how this will play out, but, yes, we'll bring it to you right when we know any more here at 120.